So this guitar, people might know about too. It's, uh, thanks Kev. This guitar came into my life, let's think, probably about a year and a half ago. Um, it's never leaving. Yeah. This guitar, from the moment I plugged it in, turned into like, legit, like my favorite Les Paul. Ever. I can't even believe I have it and the way I got it is so weird. So I'll play it and then I'll talk about it. Okay, Is yeah. that cool? Yeah, please. Let's make sure it works. Let's see what we got going here. All right, check it out. So this is one of the first Les Pauls ever, really. It's an early 1952. Wow. So this guitar was in a tornado. Check out the back. Guy hits me up on Instagram, right? Sends me a DM. And it's got that thing where it says, like, are you sure you want to view this picture? <laughs> see, like, the outline. It was like a gold top. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'll click it. Yeah. He goes, hey, man, my name's TJ. I live, like, near Chicago. Uh, there was a tornado in my hometown in 2013, and this landed in my yard. <laughs> Swear hey, to God. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, and it had dirt and mud and like glass, and you could see like it'd been through the ringer. Was it in one piece? No, the neck was snapped off. Oh. So he goes, man, I'm thinking about getting it restored. I don't know what I want to do with it. Um, and so I hit him back right away, and I was like, dude, that's sick. It did not have this tailpiece, right? It didn't have any of this, but all of this was there. Everything besides Pickups, that. knobs, yes. switch. switch. And it, it looked like, man, it went through the war, right? So I saw these two screws on it. And me being, you know, a big internet uh, armchair detective of Les Pauls. <laughs> yeah. No, I saw the screws and I went, that's a really early Les Paul. Because the only ones I've seen like that are super early. Right. So I, I, I hit him back and I was like, dude, I had to shoot my shot. I was like, yeah. you looking to get rid of it? You know? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, no, I think I want to get it restored. And I was like, okay, cool. I said, well, if you need any help finding someone to do the work for you, I know some really great guys. And I said, here's my number. And I said, and also, if you ever do just decide to get rid of it, I would love to get that thing up and running. And it was snapped at the heel. I'll show you here in a minute. And the next day he calls, and I was like, dude's calling me. So I answer, he's like, hey, man. So uh, I'm just going to give you the guitar. <laughs> I'm like, what? Uh. And he goes, yeah, I didn't buy it. I can't really, I don't feel right selling it. So I think you know, you should just take it and get it fixed and play it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I literally me in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Chicago. And um, I meet up with him and I was like, does it work? And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, get a screwdriver. So we tap the, so he plugs it into an amp. We tap it. It's like, brah, brah. I was like, oh yeah, it works. <laughs> so I sent this guitar the next day to Joel at JW Restoration. I told him the story about it. And I was like, dude, it was in a tornado. I was like, this thing is so cool. And we like bonded right away. And he's like, yeah, man, I'll fix it for you. And I was like, okay, cool. So what we did is you can see on the back here, I can show you, but right here at the heel, right. Joel is like a magician. He took the old heel, what was existing of it out and he built the neck and grafted onto the old heel and put it back on. Wow. And it's rock solid. I said, is that going to be solid enough, man? Because I'm going to rock this thing. Yeah, yeah. He's like, dude, don't worry about it. It's going to be great. And it's been great. So this guitar, like early 52, the characteristics, the pots in the, the guitar, We, because I, I said, you got to look at the pots. And the pots are from, I believe he said, April of 1952. So wow. it's pretty early. Right. And the other thing is it had a kind of a tan line like this, uh, where this tailpiece would be. And I would see those pictures of like Mary Ford. Oh, yeah. Les Pauls. 
And there was a few Les Pauls that had kind of this, this style, you know, tailpiece on them. So I was looking on Reverb one night and I found this tailpiece. It was, I think it was $25. Oh, perfect. And it was like late 40s L5 tailpiece or whatever. Yeah. And I texted it to Joel. I was like, could we use this on the guitar? He just texted back, buy it. So we bought that. We fitted it with this. Um, I didn't know if it was going to last. We did do a wrap tail on it, but I yeah. like it the way it is. Yeah, it's great. Um, the early characteristics, though, is this has a center seam play maple top. Wow. Like a burst. Yeah. Um, the body's wider. It's a little bit wider, which is kind of cool. Right. Thicker body. Um, the other thing, obviously, this weirdo pickup. It's got no binding on the neck. Right. It's got these weird, like, hex kind of oh, tuner yeah. style. God, and those, and those knobs are huge. Huge, man. But I like that. Oh, I love it. Like yeah. as a player, Yeah. sometimes you're playing, you know like those 70s witch hat knobs? Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm trying to get up. Right. With these, man, I, can, I feel like, rest in peace, Jeff. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can do. Right. But it feels really good. And uh, it's just such a fantastic guitar, man. It's yeah. really inspiring. God, that's great. That, that guitar found you. Yeah. You know? I knew when I got <laughs> it too. Like I remember Joel sent it to me. We were playing at this theater in Pennsylvania. He's like, I haven't looked at the pickups yet or anything. So I got the guitar and it was done. I could still smell the glue. And I was like, man, what if it doesn't work? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I remember I plug it into my rig and I just go like this. And I was like, it's working. And like my guys were like staring. They're like, <laughs> and all of a sudden I just kind of did like a, I remember going. <laughs> it works. And then I was. <laughs> This thing's got a little extra on the end. God. I love it. That is great, man. And then someone goes, oh, you shouldn't play that guitar. It's been through enough. And I'm like, dude, if this thing can withstand a yeah, tornado, yeah. snap neck and all, yeah. I think it's ready for the road, man. Oh, so yeah. I take it everywhere. Yeah. It, the last time I saw you was at that... Um, that well, I've never heard a guitar story that <laughs> Wild, right, dude? <laughs> yeah. And everyone I hand this thing to, even Bonamassa was like, we did a session together. And he's like, dude, I'm going to bring a bunch of guitars for you to play. He had some crazy gear he brought yeah. and i plugged this in and i he's like play the guitar and i just went like <laughs> i just did some bs lick like that or whatever and he was like yeah we'll start there yeah I was like, good with the guitar played the guitar the whole session and then we were at dinner i was like joe what do you think of that gold top how it sounds and he's just like yeah <laughs> and I was like, yes. Yeah, right. Like Joe approved. Yeah, that dude knows. Yeah, he's going to yeah, know. Yeah, he knows. God, that's great. Oh.